Hey Leuven and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're playing the new DLC, which is the Stalingrad campaign. Once again, we're playing as the Germans and uh, I am very excited to be <laughs> once again playing this uh, after the uh, Soviet campaign. It's um, not been that long since the other release, so uh, I am uh, very excited for this. Uh, I, um, I'll be playing once again on Classic, so we got uh, that going. Now, once again, this is a, a press release version, which means that, uh, you know, not everything is already set in stone, and some things might still change uh, in the actual release, so that is something to keep in mind. Either way, it's 1942, spring. The German attack on the Soviet Union has not succeeded, but neither has it failed. Despite heavy losses during the severe winter, the Wehrmacht remains deep in Russia. It has neither the men nor the tanks to attack everywhere, as it did the previous year. Instead, Germany focuses uh, effort in the south, aiming for the ultimate prize of the Caucasus oil fields. Meanwhile, the Soviets amass their reserves for a climactic counter-strike. Now, for anyone who, who has seen the... Um, campaign tree uh, they would know that there is a historical path uh, with a very small a historical sidestep at the end and a completely a historical path what I'm gonna do in this DLC as much as with the Blitzkrieg DLC I'll be playing the historical path first purposefully then go back and play the a historical path afterwards uh, to save the best for last basically uh, that doesn't mean that the historical campaign is uh, is for worse, uh, but um, I just like a historical campaigns uh, a bit more. So I'm saving the the juiciest of the missions uh, later. One thing that I think is uh, very interesting for this campaign as well is that um, there will actually be some historical counter-offensives uh, like, for example, Case, um, or sorry, uh, Operation Uranus, which I think is um, very interesting that they uh, put that out there. Uh, very curious. I'm not going to buy any of these as per usual. And then we can take a look here as the um, 6th Army and the 17th Army that we currently have here. Uh, we can see, I'll basically go over everything. So we have only, uh, let's go for the strategic map first. Um, Germany needs oil and you will secure it. As commander of Army Group South, you must clear out the Crimea and Kharkov areas before launching Fall Blau to destroy the Red Army facing you. That completed, you must then strike aggressively into the lower Volga and Caucasus regions. Stalin's forces are numerous, but they still have not learned how to use combined forces effectively. Uh, basically, we're back to historical outcomes here as uh, our success at Moscow and uh, at Leningrad and also down in the south. It was just a dream, unfortunately. Uh, well, unfortunately, in uh, terms of the game, that is, as uh, I, I don't think there are that many people who would like to see uh, an Axis, an actual Axis victory. Anyway, uh, down in the south. After defeating the Soviets at Kharkov, the Wehrmacht will surge forward, seeking to encircle and destroy all Soviet armies between Voronezh and Rostov. Although not initially a priority for the Germans, Stalingrad will take on a logic of its own, drawing in more and more reserves from both sides. As German high command becomes fixated on taking the city, the Soviets prepare an audacious double encirclement of the entire German 6th Army. And we'll be looking at Sturfang and Trappenjagd, um, here uh, already and we have second Kharkov up here interesting thing is that this will allow you to put a strategic plan into action which is taking Sevastopol I wonder if there's an additional Sevastopol objective but we'll see about that when the time comes this is May the 8th so we were actually playing Sturfang and Trappenjagd earlier, interestingly enough. Um, 
Anyway, let's start, go with the 6th army, which is under um, Friedrich Wilhelm Ernst Paulus here. 7 command points, so they're already a bit upgraded up to 10 in terms of range. Um, they do at least have faint attack and suppressor fire. I. It's a shame they don't have pontoon bridge here, because that is certainly something that I would favor. Anyway, let's read this. Designer notes. General Friedrich Paulus leads 6th Army as it advances on a broad front across the Great Bend of the Don River and on to the Volga. It must then assault Stalingrad, into which the Red Army is pouring reserves. What could go wrong? Paulus is a talented and staff officer, but has little command experience. He is way out of his depth in, uh, depth in the urban quagmire of Stalingrad, and even more so during the subsequent Soviet counterattack. After capitulating, he will eventually cooperate closely with the Soviets, urging German surrender from 1944. Now, if the 17th Army under Richard Ruoff, the powerful 17th Army will support the advance to Rostov and continue alongside the 1st Panzer Army into the Caucasus. Spread increasingly thin, it will face resolute fortified Soviet positions along the Black Sea coast and through the spine of the Caucasus. In command is General Richard Ruoff, an infantry officer whose cautious and methodological instructs can lead him to miss opportunities. Relieved of command in 1943, he will not take the field again during the war. Uh, they do have pontoon bridges, but I would at the very least like to make a ranged upgrade for now. I'm pretty much going to leave the upgrades as it is for now because I want to save my prestige here. Um, and I'm also not going to buy any of these cards. Um, one air attack asset and one use flying artillery. That's pretty good. But I'm going to try to do without. Just to save me that prestige to beef up my units. Stirfang and Trappenjagd. Um, May the 8th, 1942. By late spring 1942, a successful conclusion to the siege of Sevastopol had become a primary objective for the Wehrmacht. Before assaulting the city and its surrounding fortifications, von Manstein's 11th Army must first secure its flank by expelling the Soviets from the Kerch Peninsula. Once this is completed, Operation Sturfang can commence the assault on Sevastopol itself. Both operations will benefit from massive artillery and air support. Now we have to take Sevastopol. Going to be pretty interesting. I remember in the, the previous DLC, Blitzkrieg DLC, taking Sevastopol early would at least give you the benefit of not having a separate Sevastopol mission. It has been deemed necessary to eliminate all Soviet presence in the Crimea in preparation for our summer offensive. Your orders are to clear the Kerch Peninsula before turning your focus to Sevastopol. The Soviets are heavily fortified, but the 11th Army is well prepared with siege artillery and concentrated air power. Note, heavy artillery and pioneers will arrive in the 11th Army force pool in turn 5. You will have no preparation phase, as von Manstein does not appreciate people meddling with his carefully laid plans. Kirchstern 3, Sevastopol 12, Kersonis Peninsula turn 12, and the 47th Army needs to be destroyed. If they retreat, I can likely not destroy it, so I'm going to need to encircle that. I'm going to start with a saturation strike. That went marginally well. Overrun, but they're too weak. Ow. Mm. Okay. What I'm going to do is use set piece as well. Now they're cornered, and let's see, which unit is going to come back? Because that's the unit that I want to give experience you. Sweet. And that adds pioneers. Yeah. 
If I'm gonna deploy pioneers down here, which is probably the best case, I'll still be able to afterwards put it on a unit that will come back later in a scenario. So I'm, I'm gonna be okay with that. Uh, uh, no overrun, huh? It's a bummer. It's also a shame I cannot actually get in here. Except with you. I mean, I will. Uh, crap. I do have this. Um, hmm. This is not the greatest, but they will not get back everything. So at the very least, that's looking marginally well. And it still gives five experience, so I do think it's worth it to do that regardless. Uh, these units are going to be reconstituted somehow, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I have, I have nothing left, so let's not waste anything for now. You cannot get deployed. This is obviously a death trap. Hmm. How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hexes. So if I need to be here, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They only have to move one hex. And at that point, yeah, they'll only lose these. That's okay. Let's see if they're going to do some attacks. They are doing some annoying stuff. But I might be able to bypass some units, so that's where they are. I need to be really certain that they'll retreat. Hmm. Also, again, it's only 0 and 2. That's rather rough. I might even have to use flying artillery to get there, which is not something I'd necessarily appreciate.
This um, doesn't really help that much ultimately, but I guess it contribute could contribute something. Mm, with one left, so technically I can reorganize one of those Romanian steps. Wow. Seriously? That's really harsh. <laughs> wow. Okay, so what what I would need to do kind of unfortunately uh, is this Pretty much the only way I can I can get the objective here. Uh, at the very least, it does mean that the rest of these units are cut off, and I will work on trying to damage these units. Now, you're not gonna come back. What I'm going to do here is I'm not going to attack with any of these other ones because I want these guys to get the experience. So currently I'll just use a feint attack over on the cavalry, which is their most powerful unit. And um, I'll secure these. They have no business being in here, either. Move you back. And it also means that at this point I can now start moving the AOK -okay over to this area. Um, but not before I... Shuffle around some of that stuff and also deploy this unit. But they'll be moving back. Ah, sure. Now they're elite, and is there any other unit? Yeah, it's these. So they will not be back. They will be for one turn. Uh, 
Let's start with taking your pioneers at the very least. Sixty-five, eh? Let's go back in there. They'll be out of supply for two turns, so it's not as if they can actually attack after this. Um, I'll make sure that these guys will get more XP. They'll be reorganized. Where does the supply come from? From Sevastopol itself. What can I deploy? German infantry and a pioneer. The only unit that's going to be back is this one for German infantry. Um, One thing that I can do at least is keep giving these guys a little bit more experience so at least they'll be at veteran as well. And I'll take two steps from you. Move you closer. And I will attack these at the bottom. The attacks are still no good, but basically I need to get around down in the south. What was I going to get as well? I'm going to get another Pioneer Heavy Infantry, Artillery. Um, currently that means I don't want to... Which I can already deploy this because I can take it out again so I can start pushing in here. I basically need to get around this, so that is uh, the tough part. Okay. Soviets do not get um, anything back. I'm not quite sure whether... Yeah, they can actually deploy it, but they already have the coastal army there, so that, that doesn't really 
gift him anything. I can do whatever I want with it. Mm, how many Romanian infantry steps do I have? One currently, and I need three for these units. And none for them. You're going to be back. So I'm going to need to take three away from those. Why can you not use set piece? This day got a veteran. I can do something pretty similar here. Uh, no, because there are three. Um, never mind that. I'll put you here though. If they want to put some units up there, I, they can be my guest. Um, okay, so. Take away your stug and let's remove these. You there. Not that much I can do at the moment then. Except also now removing this. We'll see whether they'll take the bait. They probably don't. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. So what I'll do is I'll give the armor to Stug three E's. Hmm. I'll, I'll think about it. Um, anyway, I need to take three from them because I need to feed both this division and the cavalry. No, retreat is fine. I'm basically just looking to get these guys some experience again as well. Um, I'll take the Stug 3F from them too soon enough anyway. Certainly they will get a Pioneer. Hmm... True question is, do I want to take over Pioneer or Stuk 3E? I believe Pioneers are a lot more expensive. Mm. Uh, 
Let's give them the Stuk 3E for now. I can always put on our Romanian cavalry. And give those to Pioneers later. For the moment, let's do this. And I can then remove this step later. What do you have? Fullest. Only three German infantry. Two German infantry. turn that's uh... wow I can uh, take away that stuff later. For now, I kind of still need that. I'll uh, also want to do two set piece attacks this turn. So. Wasn't that an overrun? I guess not. Still, the attack was pretty good. Leaving them pretty much defenseless, which opens up a second hex in there. Just can't believe that I lost an engineer. Man. Those 0 and 2 attacks are deadly as ever. Okay. Nope. need to basically uh, beat them from that position too so what I'll do is how's this going 0 and 2 to be pretty good why is this very important well I still want to get them at least at veteran status the same applies for these, so pretty much I'm just experience farming here. Okay. move and 
I do think I didn't have anything left. Right. Only these. Tackling this unit or this coastal army is, you know, it's nothing fancy, but at least, again, it will clear the area for me. Just a little bit. Yeah, sure. Hmm. They're now cornered. I do have uh, you now. Seems like they cannot go in there because of that coastal army. Could use a recon in force, probably for the best. Oop. Now you can go in here. Just do suppression. Okay, 11. We'll probably not get them back, so I'll just go for the free option here. And let's. Uh, uh, it's just barely out of range. Damn it. Didn't help, huh? Okay. That's fine. I still have plenty of turns to take that, and currently I'm more focused on dealing with some of that other stuff. Now that I have two left, let's take the Stug. They need to get another step, so they're back to regular... You've done enough. And They will get up to elite in one attack. Um, the cavalry will not. I have to say that I do find that mod to be a bit disappointing at this point. Um, great. 
Well, actually, if if I give them another infantry step, no, no, <laughs> oh, come on. Mm, I actually want the thing is I want to give the forty sixth infantry um, the twenty one centimeter mortar that they have. Um, which means that not only uh, should I take that, but I should also just give this to that cavalry. one Cannot do another one of those. Um, I don't want to lose that. The question is, do I want to wait? I think I do. Because I have one more turn. So, ultimately... I, I can wait here. On the other hand, eh. if I do have mud there, that will be a problem, but I think I can handle it. Start with that. Hmm. Why can I not give you the more, sir? Uh, it's one turn from now. Ooh. Okay.
No overrun, huh? Well, I do want to take your point. Oh, uh, go back. Because mm, I can kill them. And now I'll still have next turn for reorganization. So you can get the Mercer. You're already fine. I have no other German infantry that will be back any other mission. So... I... Might as well just give all these extra units to the Romanians. I mean, my German units are stacked full. The only two that will be back, so... Uh, that's that. All right, um, that's it. Taking all the objectives, sweet. And take a look at my scorecard, 172. All right, with Kim Shield as a bonus or something. Lost three steps for the Germans, which is two infantry and a special step. So that was an engineer and two regular steps. Gotta be careful of that Owen too. Anyway, that'll be it for this one. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one in Second Kharkov. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.